In this video, we're going to take a look at a legal problem called linkless cycle number one, as well as we're also going to take a look at linkless cycle number two. So the first question asks us to uh, check to see if a linkless has a cycle. And uh, basically, to determine if linkless has a cycle, we just see if the tail node um, is pointing to any node in the link list. So in this case here, you can see we have an example of a link list where the tail node is pointing to a node, the first node, um, sorry, yeah, the first node zero index uh, in the link list. So in this case, we are returning true because this is a cycle. Now, if there is a no cycle, like for example, this node right here is not pointing to any, any node, and this node uh, in this case does not have any, any pointers, then we can just return false because there's no cycle in the link list, right? Because there's no no there's no pointers that point to any node in the link list. And uh, here you can see we have a cycle again where we have one and two, right? So no two tail node points back to the first node, uh, sorry, the zeroth node. And uh, in this case, or the head node, then we are getting a cycle in the, in the link list. And at the end, we're gonna return true. So, Obviously, we can be able to solve this using a hash table, right, or hash set. Check to see if the node has been traversed or visited before. If there, if we visit that node before, we can just return, um, yeah, we can just return true. If not, we can just return false. But the question asks us to follow, do this in a constant time or a constant, sorry, constant space complexity. So to do this using constant space complexity, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to use the slow and fast pointers technique. Basically, the idea is this. We're going to have a slow pointer that travels in one by one, node by node. And the fast pointer is going to travel two times faster than the, the slow pointer. So here you can see we have the slow pointer and the fast pointer move at a start at the same position. So let's say this is the cycle, right? How do we determine if there's a cycle? All we had to do is we had to see if the slow pointer will eventually to check to see if the slow pointer will eventually uh, meet with the fast pointer. So because the slow pointer travel node by node, right, is, uh, and the fast pointer is gonna be traveled two times faster than the slow pointer. So when the slow pointer reached to here, the fast pointer is already, you know, two times faster than that. So in this case, it's gonna be reached to here, right? And then when the slow pointer reached to here, right, the, this, the end point, this, the fast pointer also traveled two laps right total travel two laps and it will reach to it will also meet at the same position with the slow pointer so at the end we, all we had to do is just check to see if the slow pointer and the fast pointer is at the same position right if, if they're pointing at the same node we can just return true otherwise we return false now here you can see we have a slow and fast pointer which starts both start at the same same node the head node the slow pointer move one by one the fast pointer move two times two nodes at a time and then when they enter the cycle, right, we, you, know, you notice that this fast pointer move two times faster uh, at the same speed, of course, and the slow pointer move uh, one by one, same speed. And then when the, the fast pointer point at three, and then, and then five, right, and then three again, and then, and then we have the slow pointer and the fast pointer move point at the same position, right? Because slow pointer move one by one, the fast pointer move two times Two nodes at a time eventually they will meet at the same position so now here you can see we have the uh we have a cycle in the link list so therefore we're just going to return true okay so it's pretty simple um the idea we can also apply that with a cycle like this right so let's say we have a cycle like this same thing we're going to have the slow and the fast pointer point at the same node and then we're going to have the fast pointer move two time two two node at a time in this case we have um slow pointer move point into this node fast pointer points back to the node one now we have uh fast pointer points back to the one uh, node one again because it moves two times faster right and a slow pointer move from node two back to node one so now we have a cycle in the link list right so let's see how we can do this in code so to do this in code we're going to have our base case right to check to see if the node the head node is null or the head node nest is null. If the if there's no pointers in the link list, then we can just return false, right? Then once we have our base case defined, we're gonna have a fast pointer. We're gonna define slow 
and fast pointers. Then we're going to check. So uh, basically, uh, traverse the list to see if there is a cycle. If there's no cycle, we're just going to return false. If no cycle, right? Or this this uh, or if we reach to the end where the the current the fast pointer is null, right? So let's try to fill those up. So in this case, if the head is equal to null or head.nest is equal to null, then we can just return false because there is no cycle. Okay, so then we're gonna define our slow pointer, which is gonna point to the head. The fast is gonna to point to the head. Now we're gonna to start to say while fast is equal to null, or does not equal null, I should say. And fast that nest does not equal null. So if we have the space to move forward for the fast pointer, because we know the fast pointer is always gonna be um, is always gonna be further away from the slow pointer, right? It's always gonna be faster than the slow pointer, then if the fast is null or fast.nest is null. That means that we found that there is no cycle. So if there's no cycle, we can just return false. Okay. Now we're gonna, basically if the fast, uh, fast pointer is not null uh, and fast.nest is not equal to null, we, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get fast is equal to fast.nest.nest. Okay, and then we're gonna get slow is equal to slow.nest. At the end, if we have slow is equal to fast, then I'm going to return true. Okay, so now let's see if uh, our result. Okay, so let's try with a few more examples. Okay, so here you can see we have our success. So this is how we solve this uh, Vcode linked list cycle number one problem. Now let's take a look at the linked list cycle number two. So here you can see we have our um, our problem which gave us a linked list return the node where the cycle begins. If there is no cycle, return false. Okay, so if there is a, so the goal is we want to uh, sorry not return false uh, return null right. So in this case the goal is we want to uh, find the head node um, the, the the head node of the cycle right. In this case the head node is node two. In this case, for this uh, cyc uh, cyclic linked list, right? So in this case, we have a cycle in the linked list, and the head node is node two. So in this case, we're just going to return that node because in this case, the tail node is pointing to the uh, the second node in the in the linked list. Now here you can see we have another cycle in the linked list, and the node begins. It's going to be the head node, and therefore we return the um, the the head node, right? So here you can see we have another node. Right, which does not point to anything, which there's no cycle, then we can just return. Uh, in this case, we can just return null because there's no cycle, just like I mentioned. mentioned. If, if there's no cycle, we can just return null. Let's take a look at how we can solve this problem, right? So the goal is still, we want to do this in a constant time, uh, sorry, constant space complexity. So to do this problem, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to the slow and fast pointer. We're going to have the slow and fast pointer move at the uh, start at the same, same node. And then we're going to get uh, point, pointer two move four nodes ahead, which four basically is the size of the cycle link list, right? Because there's a cycle in the link list and the cycle is has four elements, right? In this case, it has four nodes. So if that's the case, um, then what we're going to do is we're going to uh, get the pointer two move four nodes ahead, of pointer one. Then we're going to get the move at the same speed. Because if we... If we get pointer two, move four nodes, or basically one lap ahead of pointer one, we know that eventually pointer one and pointer two will move, will uh, like uh, meet at the same node, and that node is going to be the the head node of the cycle, right? So here you can see we have pointer one move one node at a time, and pointer two move one at a time, and then eventually you can see that we have pointer one and pointer two meet at the same position. So basically. If we have a cycle like this, right? So let's say we have a cycle and we have a slow pointer right here. The fast pointer is also at the same speed, uh, at the same note, uh, at the same position, right? 
But the thing is that fast pointer is moving uh, one lap ahead of the slow pointer. Then we know that we there will they will be they will be um, basically like at the same they will meet at the same node. In this case, that that node is going to be the root node or the head node of the cycle link list, right? So now you know how we can do this. Let's take a look at how we can do this in code. But first, let's take a look at what are the steps that we have to take to achieve that algorithm. So first, we have to determine to find to see if there is a cycle in the link list. If we do, what we're going to do is we're going to find the length of the cycle, right? We find the length of the cycle, right? Once we find that there is a cycle in the link list, then once we have the length of the cycle, then we're going to get pointer two move. Um, uh, basically that many times of node ahead of pointer one then eventually they will get to a point where they meet and then once they meet we're going to return that node right so to do this in code first we're going to define our base case then we're going to so base case will be like if the head is null or head on nest is null then we can just return null right because in this case we do not find any cycle therefore we do not find the head of the cycle right so then what we're going to do is we're going to um start to like traverse the cycle to see if there's a uh, cycle, right? So traverse the link list to see, or iterate the link list to see if there's a cycle. If there is a cycle, then we're gonna focus on uh, finding the length, right? Once we find the length of the cycle, we're going to make sure we uh, find the head of the cycle, right? So we're gonna define pre and the fast point, so sorry, slow, slow and fast pointers. Then we're once we define those, we're gonna check if there if there is a cycle, right? And then if there's no, so no cycle returns returns null, right? Now let's try to um, fill them up. So in this case, if head is equal to null or head dot nest is equal to null, then we can just return null. And uh, if so, now we have to define our slow and fast pointers. So, uh, in this case, we're going to have a list node slow, which is point ahead, and the uh, the fast pointer is going to be equal to head. And we're going to check to see if there's a if there's a cycle. So all we had to do is we're going to say while uh, while fast, just like how we did it in length list cycle number one, we say fast does not equal to null or fast dot nest does not equal to null then we're going to get fast is equal to fast dot nest dot nest and then slow is equal to slow dot nest right and at the end if we have slow is equal to fast then we, there's a cycle and then we're gonna we're gonna do something about it right so if there's no cycle then we can just return null so in this case we can just return null if there's no cycle we basically what we're going to do then is we're going to focus on um, find the k, right? K is so find the length of the cycle. So once we find the length of the cycle, we're going to find the head node of the cycle. And we're going to use a separate method for that. So first, to find this, the length of the cycle, we're going to have integer length is equal to find length, right? We're going to pass in the slow pointers. And it will basically find the length. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to also, based on the length that we got, we're going to uh, find the head node of the cycle. And to find the head node of cycle, just like I mentioned before, we're going to have slow and fast, uh, or pointer one and pointer two. Pointer one move at one at a time. And basically, we want to get pointer two move uh, k times, right? k is going to be the length of the cycle, so k times uh, k notes ahead of pointer one. Then we're going to get them start uh, start to iterate at the same speed. If they meet at the same node, that's the head node. Okay, so we, we're going to return the uh, get head node, right? So this will basically takes the length as well as the head of the link list. We will basically um, return the head node. Okay, so now let's try to uh, implement those methods. So find length, which takes a list node. So we'll call it slow or just, just the, the head, right? Or does let's, yeah, let's just call it the, the, the node. 
uh, what we're going to do is we're going to start iterate the list, right? So if we found out that uh, that the size, right? So in this case, we're going to get the current node, um, and we also have a temp node, and this temp node basically is going to be node.nest, and the length that we have so far is going to be one. And uh, while the temp node is not equal to node, we're going to continue to traverse just to move to the nest node, right? If they if the temp node is equal to node, then we're going to return the length. So we're going to have list node temp, which is equal to node, integer size is equal to one. Sorry, node.nest. All right, so far now we have uh, size is one. So what we're going to do is say while temp does not equal to node, we're going to get temp is equal to temp.nest. And size increment by one. At the end, if we found out, if we basically traverse the entire cycle, we can just return the size, right? So then what we're going to do is we're going to now implement the get head method. Right? Remember, this get head method finds the head node of the cycle. So in this case, we are returning a list node. Then what we're going to do is we're going to focus on getting the head by using those two variables that we have. So first, we're going to get the pointer two, right? We're going to first define P1 and P2. Then we're going to get P2 move length ahead of P1. Then what we're going to do is we're going to um, traverse the list, right? If P2 does not equal P1, we're going to continue to iterate. So at the end, we're going to return the node that both P1 and P2 points to, right? So return the head. So in this case, we're going to have list node P1, which is equal to head. P2 is also going to equal to head as well. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to say while where I should say for integer i is equal to zero, i is less than length. We're going to move p2, uh, not k number of times, right? So p2 is equal to p2.nest. Then once we have p2 and p1 in position, we're going to start to um, basically say while p1 does not equal p2, we're going to get um, P1 move one to the right, or one one to the, uh, the adjacent node. P2 is going to move one to the right. So at the end, if they equal each other, we're going to return P1, or it doesn't matter if P2, right? So now let's try to run the code. Okay, so let's try to submit. Uh, we have a null pointer, so let's see. So line 19, we have a null pointer. That's because um, yeah, we should say n, right? So if so, while fast is not even null, and, and fast on nest is even null. So so now you can see this is how we solve this uh, leak code linkless cycle number two problem.